Hey guys, it is Nathan and I'm going to show you quickly how to add a spin to win wheel onto your website and following that I'm going to show you how to then segment the visitors and enroll them into um, into automation sequences. Um, so we will set I'm just going to add this onto my onto my blog just for testing. Um, let's go so we'll go into the notified dashboard click spin to win uh, I don't really like the background color by default so let's go with blue and uh, I'm, I'm working off a smaller screen today but uh, okay and then we're just going to Mm -mm. Bold, feeling puppy. Let's so make this white. Okay, prize one. What are we gonna do? Bottom background color. Okay. White, and let's do the bottom text as spin. We'll fill in that bold. Your email. Okay, um, so prizes will give away is. Okay, so we're going to give away a growth guide, a free account on Notifier, or 25% off. Um, so, yeah, this is how it looks. And I'm going to choose to display on URL contains blog. Um, just for the sake of testing, I'm going to set scrolls 20% down the page, display center right. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to send over to a webhook. Um, so we're going to use Integromat for this because it's free for the first 1,000 webhooks, which is always very nice. And we're going to come here. So then from here, we can just sync this data like literally wherever we want. We have complete flexibility over it. Um, we can add it to a, like an automation sequence and add it to a CRM. So I, I really like it. We're going to make a new webhook. Um, so we're going to call it spin to win webhook no ip restrictions and this is the address that we're just going to copy and give to notifier and then we just click save save changes campaign is turned on let's just go and check it is displaying i believe i set trigger to 20 percent uh 20 percent scroll and we're just going to start listening on this webhook. So like Integromat is, is just one of my, my favorite tools, um, really. So we don't need to set it to run every time. We can have it scheduling automatically. I'm just doing this for, for testing purposes. Uh, scroll 20%. OK, here we go. So yeah, when it's actually on full screen, it looks a hell of a lot better. So we're going to send over my email address. And spin growth guide and so that data has now been passed through to us so what I'm then going to do is change my mind on liking that tool actually um, okay so as you can see Nathan and it says prize number is growth guide so it tells us what we need to offer um, so what I will do here is add a router because we have four potential prizes. Sorry, three potential prizes, but we can have more. But just in this example, we're going to set up a filter condition prize number equal to growth guide. Then the other one I'm giving away is free account. And the other one I'm giving away is 24. 5% off, yeah. So, prize number 25% off. I'm just going to mark these as well, just so I can remember which ones were without having to open any time. 
every time. Free account and growth guide. Okay, so basically now we are separating each instance. So um, depending on what the user has, has won, we can then enroll them into into our like automation. So our Mailchimp. Okay, yeah. So I don't actually use Mailchimp, but I know a lot of a lot of people request it. So we we could add into Mailchimp and send an email straight away. I'm going to do a quick example just in in SendGrid, um, and we can just do like send an email. Okay, email address. So we're going to be sending to email address. Ah, okay. So from. So obviously, I'm I'm just going to be sending to myself just for testing. Send to add email template no congratulations you won growth guide so that is that's going to be dynamically put in um and yeah so i'm not going to go through like the in, entire process of setting up i'm just going to show it quickly because i'm sure everyone's going to be using separate um tools i'm just good, like showing how, how the logic would work so if if the user wins here, we can add it here. Like we could also just put in growth guide and then we're going to be sending an email straight away to show them how to access it. So in the content, you, you can write out whatever you want. Um, obviously, you can use MailChimp for this as well. Or if you have automation flows set up already in each individual tool, you could just add them into a sequence um, and, and let that take care of it for you. Um, content, so we're just going to say, okay, congratulations. E1 growth guide. So the reason that I actually like to send them the prize rather than just giving it to them within the spin to win widget is because it is the only real way to check that the user has given a, a valid email. Um, if they, they've given a fake address, yes, there are like email lookup and email verification tools. I use them all the time. I, I actually use about 10 different tools but it's, it's not 100% accurate. They claim to be like 98% accurate, but I, I still still don't believe that. Um, I think they're about 95% accurate. Um, but this is just like a, a far easier way to do things. So we currently have the flow, whenever a user wins um, the uh, growth plugin, they're gonna be direct, sorry, whenever a user wins 25% off, they're gonna be directed down here. I've actually set up in the wrong place. Um, but we can just duplicate it across and just change the text based on what the users want. Um, and then, like, this is why I I really love Integromat because from here we just have complete flexibility. Like, we can also go and we can go and add them to our CRM, like whatever it is that that you're using. Um, if you're using different APIs, like you could um, you could attach like a Calendly link into the um, in, into the tool to get them to um, to, to book in a call with you they, like there's loads of crm supported here obviously if you're comfortable that's very interesting they now support digital ocean as well um yeah like there's there's like we could also add them into like a facebook custom audience like literally it's just you you have complete flexibility so whatever flow um you want to build out is is yeah it's, it's completely possible um so yeah like that that is like the, the general idea behind it so i'm just going to run like a quick test and just show you how it looks in action uh, okay received and email has been sent so because it matched growth guide growth guide so it's been routed down this path and it's sendgrid has successfully sent the email and this is the um response from Syngrid's API telling us the unique identifier for that email in case we want to follow it up in, in future. So that is a quick guide just on how easy it is to um to actually like set up and, and use webhooks. And I really want to try and educate people on this um, because I think like people get like quite scared when they um when they hear the term like webhooks and API and things like this when it's they're not too technical to use really all i've done is copy and pasted where to send this data to and then integromat is just it's just like a, a ui like every, everything is just adding in 
each step of, of, of the funnel. Um, so I've put this together in what, maybe five minutes. Um, if I wasn't given like a running commentary and, and, and doing tests, you know, I, I could set this up in about two minutes. Um, so yeah, and I think it just gives everyone like much more flexibility in terms of their like marketing and what what they're able to do using tools like this and and having the experience in like integrating these things together that then you're not quite so limited in terms of of what of, of what you can do. So um yeah, I'd I'd really like to encourage people to to use this more. And I've actually built like Notifier in that specific way. Like it's um you're given like the tools that you need in, in order to, to do this stuff. Um, and it's just given you like complete flexibility, um, at least in my opinion. I, I do have other like clients who aren't technical and just want everything sort of done for them, which obviously I, I do understand. Um, but learning how to do just things like this, which it's, it's gonna take like five minutes to learn. And once you have learned it, you, you can completely um, rev revolutionize your, your marketing um, automation, how you're piecing everything together. So I'm actually going to make another guide on how, how a non-technical person can use APIs. Um, and yeah, but other than that, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions on webhooks um, or like how this has come together, um, please let me know and I'll be happy to help. Thank you for watching.